Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. Hello, hello. This is your read. This is your read for the second half of February 2023. But if you find this at any other point, then it's for you. What else do we have for Taurus, please? What else do we have for Taurus? Right, guys, we're just going to have to run with it because they're throwing loads out. So we have the Temperance, we have the Fool, we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the King of Wands. And at the bottom, we have the Page of Swords. So, guys, we're going to have to run with the energy because I asked for one more and they refused to give me one more. They wanted you to have many more. So bear with me a second, please. We're going to run with energy. So, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. What's this about, angel spirit, guys? Three of pentacles. Thank you. Got you. And the six of cups, please, angel spirit, guys. The six of cups. Six of cups. Thank you. Ooh, very nice. And the two of wands. The temperance energy. Okay. What else? For our Taurus, what else? Okay. And the fool. fortune please angel spirit guys need i say more need i say more taurus whoop 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 justice in your favor baby right come over here page of swords and there we got the king of wands and as you can see it looks like he's in court so this is something you've manifested anything else for the king of wands angel spirit guys got you Lovely. And at the bottom, we have the six of ones. Victory. Beautiful, Taurus. Right. So we've got a load of cards. Let me just adjust the camera slightly for you, my dears. Okay. So we have, excuse me, candle. We have the three of pentacles. That's clarified with a hyphen. The six of cups. That's clarified with a nine of pentacles. The two of ones clarified with the nine of ones. We have temperance. That's clarified with... With the four of swords sideways, they told me to leave it like that. It's undecided right now, okay? And the ten of wands. Then we have the fool, that's clarified with the world. The wheel of fortune, clarified with justice. The king of wands and the king of swords. Beautiful. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, I shall grab my drink, take a seat, and we shall begin this amazing blooming read. Wow! Okay, my beautiful Taurus, we are starting February the second half with an epic uplift okay this is phenomenal this is such a change in vibration and frequency for you from the last read so we're starting with the three of pentacles this basically as you can see the spirit guides are in the back in this painting is pentacles this is telling me here about using your skills in order to make a profit OK, that's what it's saying. Um, the hyphen is mind over matter. It can represent a teacher. It's wisdom. It's commitment. You need to commit to this in order for it to move forward like that. So what it's telling me here is make that commitment, that marriage to this project, to this experience, to this skill set you have in order for this to come into fruition. That's what I feel from this. Now we're going to the Six of Cups. This can talk about ties and memories and things of the past um it can be a very very good energy but it could be something you thought about putting into fruition in the past but you haven't done so so things like the what people think of you for example you know it was like me starting this channel um i was worried what my friends and things would think i mean they love me for me absolutely and they can see the energy so it's that acceptance and this can be something that's held you back before but it's you releasing that energy and i believe you are doing so because you're sat in hyphen energy so hyphen is one of the highest 
major arcanas in the pack you know his mind over matter establish faith and power over the conscious mind so whatever this is you've had you've probably thought about in the past put it into fruition this is your independent power there with the nine of pentacles when you're sitting your independent power this is a soul journey guys you know it's your independence is so very, very important. And this soul journey and this growth, when you work on you, this is when you thrive, okay? Because that you can't serve others before you've served yourself. You can't truly love until you love yourself. It's it's a development of energy. And I can see that with the hyphen energy, this, this energy is developed so beautifully. It's enabling you to move forward with grace, with confidence. And that's what you need, okay? We, we lack confidence and I can see that here. So it's about the conscious mind, mind over matter, okay? Keep it there. We then go to the two of wands. Now, this talks about partnerships. Now, it doesn't have to be with a physical being. I'm in partnership, if you like, with the spiritual realm. So they're my co-workers, as I call them, hashtag besties. Um, I'm in partnership with the spiritual realm, with my angels and spirit guides. So I work in partnership, just not in the physical sense. So it could mean represent that with it being a higher than energy. So the two of wands, it talks about partnership, enhancement of partnerships. You believing... Um, in the project and the prospects moving forward it's balance it's turning it's you turning your it's you holding a wand basically and turning what you want to put into fruition into reality it's within your power now what it's saying to me here with the nine of wands is as you can see is the wounded warrior as the as people like to call him it's about you believing in yourself. It's self-control and confidence is needed, okay? Strength in hard times. This card shows you have all you need to maintain your position and eventually prosper. Remain vigilant. So you're doubting yourself with your lack of confidence here. That could also mean your lack of confidence within this partnership. So that is telling me that this is going to be fantastic for you, whether that's someone financially supporting you to put something into fruition. Um, it can mean, you know, monetary wise, you need a backup. Absolutely. But um, it's telling me it's going to be extremely, extremely successful for you. What you need to do here is you need to balance yourself out in temperance energy. It's telling me that, you know, you need some rest and rejuvenation, but you're not doing it. Um, you felt you've been carrying a burden and a load. And this is about you balancing of yourself. And before you move forward to this new beginning and the world and the wheel of fortune and all these epic cards, you need to balance that energy. OK, the temperance she's pouring from cup to cup in the new tarot. She is completely balanced. It's working on you the temperance is so so important it's going with the flow it's inner peace it's working on those emotions and balancing them out because when we're balanced everything around us is balanced and working on you is the most fundamental important thing to be doing okay that's what it's telling me here have some rest and rejuvenation stop denying yourself this rest and rejuvenation and i don't care if that's an afternoon off work where you simply meditate and have a bubble bath it's beautiful you know you need that time and that is to balance you and balance those emotions back out you you feel like you've been carrying this burdenous load all alone and what that's going to do is it's just going to release that okay you've been shouldering for others perhaps and it's to release that energy and balancing those emotions back out because we're going to the full this is amazing this is clarified with the world i mean it's phenomenal the fall is a clean slate. It's a new beginning. It's taking a leap of faith. As you can see here on the old tarot, the spirit guide is stood behind him, handing him a gift. OK, this is an enabling him to receive. And it also means be in receiving mode. That's how I see it. The fall is in the new beginning. It's just in the universe. It's just in your intuition. It's taking that leap of faith. OK, and it's going to bring you the world. This is the end of one cycle, the start of another. You can see the naked dancer and she's holding both her wands there. The world is phenomenal. It's rewards of labour and success. It's the end of a cycle, the start of another. Battles are overcome. It's a new chapter. You know, it's harmony inside and you're having that harmony inside because you balance yourself beautiful with the temperance energy and it enables you to have this wonderful new beginning. And this new beginning, as I can see, it's a project you're working upon. OK, it's something from the past. It's going to give you independent energy. 
with the hyphen, this partnership, it's more probably believing in your prospects moving forward because I can see your lack of confidence here. All you need to do is balance yourself out and have some rest and rejuvenation because you've been carrying this burdenous energy. This is going to bring your new beginning because you're lovely balance. This is when we gain clarity, guys. If we continue to walk down a path and we it's still dimly lit, how are we supposed to see the surroundings? As soon as we balance the energy out, it's like a light switch turning on. When that light switch turns on, we can we gain clarity and clarity over the path we are journeying down. And sometimes we just need to step away. When we step away, we have a breath. We have some R&R. &R. You know, it's it's really difficult to do sometimes. Really difficult to do. I'm completely with you. I am what you, I love working. Absolutely. But I was doing a read every week and I noticed from an energy perspective, that the weeks were kind of merging and energy is probably more too weekly. And it wasn't about quantity, it was about quality of these videos. I could put a read out every single day to each star sign, be repeating myself, whereas if I can do them every other week, you were getting quality rather than quantity. And that's the kind of vibration you get here with the temperance. Once you pause, you reflect, you listen, you tune in to that temperance energy. This is when it's going to gain clarity and you're going to get the full, the world and the new beginning, which is amazing. And then in hops the Wheel of Fortune. Again, it's the end of the cycle and it's just telling you this. You know, life is a lottery. It's the turn for the better is coming to you. Mark's a good look. The wheel is turning. Get on the blooming wheel. And justice is there to tell you that. So justice is on your side here. This is basically telling me Good judgment is coming into play, you know, legal things, perhaps writing of wrongs and balance It's contracts. It can mean it's harmony. It's it's absolutely amazing. And the Wheel of Fortune is the end of a cycle. It's the start of a new one. Um, and the term for the better is also outside forces coming into play, guys, because through this spiritual journey, what I can see is you're trusting your intuition and your spirituality. Now, when that happens, the universe comes into play because they want balance. They want equilibrium. You know, it's sort of like, OK, you're believing we're going with the cycle. We're moving with the flow of energy. The Wheel of Fortune life is a lottery. It's a turn for the better. And the universe is coming into play but you've been trusting the universe and I can see that and we've got justice on your side then we go to the king of wands again it can talk about court things so if you're going into court absolutely justice is going to be on your side because in the king of wands you can see it but the king of wands also creates his own reality okay he holds his wand and he's He's lovely, but he's quite demanding. He he knows what he wants in life. Absolutely. He's the entrepreneurial businessman, you know. He's very generous. He's very sexually passionate, which is pretty cool as well. Um, he holds his wand and um, he creates this reality. Now, if this is a business you're putting into fruition, I can see it's going to be very very lucrative for you you need to sit in not only do you need to create this new reality with the king of wands here you need to sit in your king of swords now he's your businessman okay he's calm he's logical he's alert to the undercurrents he's very very spiritual as you can see the butterflies he's had a rebirth he just holds his sword up he's alert to the undercurrents and it's telling you to be so especially in business when we remain logical and calm this is when you can make dynamic decisions in life okay this is when you gain clarity this is when you you just know you just know in business because you're sat in that energy and these two together are the dynamic duo so there we go my beautiful taurus it's all happening for you it's gorgeous right angel spirit guys can we get a little animal card let's see what they have to say from the animals oh thank you thank you thank you okay we've got two flyers we have Dragon Supernatural. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Beautiful. And we also have Raccoon Inventor. So maybe this is something you've invented, guys. Decide on what you really want. You've had the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them well. How amazing is that? And let's just finish off beautifully. Decide on what you want, guys. 
and claim it. So this is you guiding down the path. You are the ancient wise sage. You have to shape shift at will. So you can easily, what it's telling me here, with your king of wands energy, with the two of wands, creating your own reality here, you have everything you need to manifest this into fruition. So do it. When we manifest, guys, you know, this isn't just like you putting it out to the universe and thinking, oh, I want to win the lottery tonight. Can I manifest those numbers? It's about you starting something and you running with that manifestation, because as soon as you do, your angels are going to come into power with you. They're going to fill you with that light and they are going to help propel you forward. OK, so that's what it's saying to me here. So you can shape shift and you can work this reality. It's about believing in yourself. Lovely. Thank you, Angel Spirit, guys. Can we just finish with a beautiful angel card? Thanks so much. We've got two. We've got two. We have kindness and Archangel Zachiel. In order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself. Have, have reasonable expectations and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. When you do something for yourself, you'll automatically extend the same energy to others. Kindness melts barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out the shy, include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Your rewards will be a sense of inner peace, warmth and love. The affirmation is I am kind to myself and others. Yes, you are because you're hyphen. Archangel Zachiel. Archangel Zachiel will help you to find tolerance and forgiveness. He works on the violent ray of purification and transmutation, helping you release lower vibrations and ascend to a higher way of being. So make sure this is about releasing and cutting those cords from people who lower your vibration, you know, who drag you down in life because you're sat at a higher level now, a higher spiritual level. And it's not being mean. It's just you, you. It's telling me here you're just vibrating on different frequencies, guys. And that's absolutely fine. It's it's not being mean. It's just looking after your spirit and your soul and your soul growth. OK. Angel Wisdom suggests that you visualise yourself in the violet flame and invoke Archangel Zachiel to help you. Place your troubles and difficult relationships within the flame so that all negativity is transmuted. You are blessed to have drawn this card today for it indicates that you are ready to walk the path of light. The affirmation is, I am cleansed within the violet flame. And there we go on Hierophant absolutely beautiful i hope you've enjoyed this my beautiful beautiful taurus please give me a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe it just helps me be here and i very much appreciate it thumbs up are completely private if you want to leave me a little message i love connecting with your energy so there's loads of love from me lauren i hope you've enjoyed this and until next time bye bye for now